episode for you today. I got Jamaica Nabeta with me. She's a merchandiser analyst in the Associate Merchant Development Program. I'll pitch it up over to the letter here for our introduction. Um, hey y'all, so I'm Denasia Porter. As Trey mentioned, I'm in the Associate Merchant Development Program at Walmart for merchandising. I said that already. But yeah, I'm originally from Magnolia, Mississippi. I moved here in August to start working. Um, when I was, well, I went to school at Jackson State University, graduated from there in the spring of 22. I was a business management major with a minor in art, specifically graphic design. And yeah, that was fun. Okay, so tell us about your thought process when you was going to pick a school. So when I was going to pick a school, like um, growing up, my mom literally always told me she didn't care where I went to school at as long as it wasn't Jackson State or Alcorn. <laughs> so I kind of grew up thinking like, yeah, I'll never go to Jackson State or Alcorn. Like yeah. we literally never visited or anything. She went to Southern Miss in Hattiesburg, so mm -hmm. she would take me to homecomings there and stuff, and that's where she wanted me to go. So I was like, okay, I'm probably going to go there. But mm -hmm. as I started getting older, we were going to like um, high school day trips at our school and everything. And I visited Jackson State one time, and I literally fell in love from that day on. Still was applying to other places and stuff, and as I was getting later on, my top school of choice was Southern. And so I was going to go to Southern. So the mix of Southern University. Southern University in Baton Rouge. Okay. That was my top choice for a while. And Jackson State was immediately after. But I guess it was like God or the mm -hmm. universe or whatever they was like, you're not going there because they never gave me my scholarship information yeah. until I was already moving in at Jackson State. So That's late. I know, like, and then that was the case for so many of my classmates at Jackson State. Like a lot of us wanted to go to Southern, but they had like a delayed um, mm -hmm. scholarship process or whatever. So we ended up at Jackson State and I loved it, so. Okay, yeah. so even coming to Jackson, like what's your problem at against Jackson State and all for it? Like, my mom, she just, I don't know, she has a lot of strong opinions about things that she really don't know about. Okay. And so it was just the fact that Alcorn was just so far in the country mm -hmm. and it's like literally no access. Yeah. I, I, it feels like I'm exaggerating it, but you'd have been well, Alcorn. That's what I did in Alcorn, in the woods. <laughs> and for Jackson State, it was just in Jackson, you know, everybody like this dangerous, yeah. murder capital, da 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 da. So, yeah, she just, and she never had even really been to Jackson for real, maybe just a few times for some business stuff. Mm -hmm. And she was just going off of what she knew from the news. And yeah, it was like, it was like that. It was nothing really major. So, but she was sad when I went. When I accepted my scholarship to Jackson State, she was like, oh, "Well, I didn't tell her." Yeah. And so then I just announced it on like National College Decision Day, mm -hmm. and she found out with everybody else. She was so sad, but mm. I was like, "Yeah, I didn't want you to try to change my mind." Okay. <laughs> well, interesting way to get into Jackson State. Though. So tell us a little bit about yourself in high school, all the activities and stuff that you were involved in. Um, so in high school, I was involved in a lot. I was on the cheer team for four years, and then I ended up being the co-captain my senior year. Um, I played tennis. I was on a bowling team. Okay. Um, I did a lot of like um, academic organization.